Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be giving you all the deets on this super affordable synthetic wig from Studio Cut, plus showing you how I install it. These wigs are supposed to be made by the pros and it is definitely giving that. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. Now let's get right into this. So here is the wig inside of the pack. It was $30 and it's 36 inches long and I got it in the color 1B. The parting space is about four and a half inches deep and it's supposed to be realistic parting but I definitely still had to go in and pluck a little bit. This wig has so much body to it, like it's actually sickening. Do you see how it's moving like it's human hair? Get into it, okay? There's three clips on the inside plus straps to adjust the wig. Now, I didn't braid my hair down and I would highly suggest that you do that just because obviously it will lay a lot flatter, but braiding down my twist has been working in a pinch, so that's what we're doing here. Like I mentioned before, I did pluck the part as well as the front just because it wasn't looking too natural. And after that, I'm just using foundation on the wig cap as well as on the wig. This is what it looks like once it's on. And of course, it's giving very much wigglicious, but we're going to fix that, okay? I'm taking out the baby hairs and putting foundation on the part before I glue the wig down. To glue it down, I'm using the Bedhead T-I-G-I Hardhead Hairspray, which is like my new ultimate fade. It really melts the lace on all of my wigs like it's nothing. For my baby hairs, I'm going in with some mousse and an edge brush. To get the part even flatter, I'm going in with my hot comb and this hair can take up to 350 degrees. Afterwards, I'm going in with my flat iron but mostly using it on the top of the hair just to make it a little more flat. And here is just an up close and personal look at what the hair looked like after I straighten it. As you can see, it still has like that yakky-ish texture, which I'm obsessed with. This is cute, guys. This is real cute. I'm gagging, this is so cute. I really, really like this hair, y'all. Like it's really flattering and is just giving the girls like everything that it needs to give. Y'all see I'm playing in it. like. I'm gonna give it a couple of ratings because there's a couple of like negatives with it but like not really because it's synthetic. The first thing is it does shed and like on a scale of 1 to 10 I think I'd give it like I'd give it like a 5. I think I think when I start like brushing it that's when it really comes out. I was having a little moment with it where it was just like shedding nonstop, but maybe it's because, you know, it's like fresh out the hair. I mean, fresh out the hair. Fresh out the pack, you know, getting adjusted, getting settled in its new environment. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna chalk it up to that. I'm running my fingers through it now and I got one strand. And that's like with normal freaking hair, you get one strand. So I don't think that's that bad. On a scale of one to 10 for the 
um, tangling. I do notice that it tangles a bit at the nape, which is regular, regular, schmegular. Like we already know that's a thing. As far as like everywhere else, it is kind of snagging, but like not like a crazy, crazy amount. And I really have been running my hands through this hair, like running, like 21 Savage, running, running, straight through. Straight through. Now, I'm loving how flat it is. I, it feels like it's a little bumpy because I didn't break down my hair. And y'all know, after that last video where I got away with um, just doing leaving my twist in, I, that's my thing now. Like, <laughs> it's either that or nothing. <laughs> Unless somebody else braids it because it's not going to be me. This is the back. I don't know what it's looking like back there, but hopefully, not crazy. But yeah, this is really cute, guys. I always forget because I like wear, I mean, I do wear synthetic wigs, but I don't be wearing them like all day, every day. But um, when you can put your fingers through the cap, which I was able to do, you can literally, I can touch my hair from here. Um, there is space. You cannot use a freaking light colored cap. Like granted, this light colored cap is doing wonders for this little grid right here. And this part is looking elite, okay? It's looking elite. But if I just so happen to have the wind blow, like you are gonna see, let's see if I can turn around. I don't know if y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see it. You're gonna be able to see the cap. And they're gonna be like, what the hell is going on between her tracks on her dome? They're gonna be like, what is, what is that? <laughs> uh, Ma'am, <laughs> fix it. Or don't fix it, and I'll make fun of you. So I'm not sure if I should cut some layers into this or not. Um, I feel like I should because it's just like all straight and just all straight. But uh, y'all know I don't be cutting hair. That's not what we came here for, okay? But I think it needs it. I think it needs a little layering. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. take a class on like cutting layers into hair because that's the one thing that I just that has not gotten better over the years everything else has gotten better but that still scared still trembling but whatever are we liking the layers because I'm like maybe I shouldn't have done them <laughs> but I don't know I honestly like my contacts are so blurry right now I can't even see for real, for real. So I don't really know if the, the layers are really doing anything or adding anything to the look, but if they are, leave that comment down below. And if they're not, still leave a comment down below. Okay, thanks. It's super, super soft, guys. Um, it has like a natural yakky texture, but I did straighten just the top. I didn't straighten the bottom just because I still wanted it to have some body um, and still, you know, have some like oomph. A little in it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. How are we feeling about this wig? Do we like it? Are we like, mm, it's okay? Or is it like, yes, it's a yes, honey. I will leave the link to the hair, the pricing, all of that down below. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. And let me know if you want more videos like this, if there's any wigs that you've seen that you want me to try. I did buy a few synthetic wigs, so that is coming soon okay get ready for that guys make sure you have that notification bell tapped because they're coming soon y'all they are coming soon okay thumbs this video up if you like what you see and how could you not like come on you like what you see um share this video with your friends your family your mama she needs this wig your mama your auntie your uncle maybe not your uncle um but yeah all the family members all the friends uh send it to them all the acquaintances with bad wigs send it to them because this is real easy to install and it looks real good real fire we love it okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>